I'm on a diet at the moment. It's really simple. I can eat as much broccoli and cauliflower as I like. It's brilliant. I haven't had any so far. <laughs> My girlfriend bought a bread maker. Has anyone here got a bread maker? Yeah. My girlfriend bought a bread maker, 500 pounds. Great. I mean, we live next door to a 24-7 convenience store. Bread is 49p a loaf, which granted is convenient and cheap, but we will break even in the next four years if we double our consumption of bread and we can somehow get the ingredients for free and we don't take into consideration labour costs. What I'm basically saying in that joke is I love you, Caroline, but for fuck's sake. I was asked this evening not to be patronising or sexist. I thought, fair enough, let's face it, birds can't take it. <laughs> You're not offended, are you? Of course not, you're thinking about shoes. <laughs> don't worry, that's postmodern misogyny. That joke was, in fact, steeped in irony. So don't you worry your pretty little head about it, love. <laughs> I've got a theory as to why women buy so many shoes. It's because they spend so much time on their feet, walking around the shops, <laughs> buying shoes. <laughs> My girlfriend's a very deep sleeper. You, you can't wake her up, which has got its advantages. <laughs> she's going to be thrilled when I tell her she's pregnant. I've got a friend that didn't believe in sex before marriage, so I showed him some photos. <laughs> I said, well, she can't be married to all four of them. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago, I failed to perform sexually. I'm not going to go into details. Suffice it to say, I arrived early. <laughs> and my girlfriend said, don't worry, that happens to a lot of guys. I said, right, I'll stop you there, a couple of things. Firstly, who are these a lot of guys? <laughs> and secondly, if it's happening to more than one of us, don't you think it could be your fault? 